happy video day guys i am so excited for today's video because finally i get to bring back one of my favorite series that i created for my channel and that is makeup on the red carpet i love doing makeup on the red carpet but even if we're going to get a different award season this year we're still getting award season so i'm super excited because if you guys don't know my favorite part of award season is the makeup and the fashion. I love to see what the celebrities are wearing and what their makeup artists are doing with them because we're talking about the top fashion houses in the world being able to dress these people. The most talented makeup artists creating amazing looks that are going to start to little by little start trickling into mainstream looks and I just love to see the creativity and I love to see what people are doing. So if you guys don't know the Emmys this year was virtual. They had a virtual Emmys. It's the first time they've ever done anything like this and obviously because of coronavirus this is what they had to do. So there was no audience. Most of the celebrities were actually accepting awards from their homes. It was very different but they still got dolled out. Out. I actually had asked you guys on my Instagram stories if you thought that the celebrities are all going to be wearing pajamas to the award show and actually it was like 50-50. A lot of you guys really thought that everybody was going to be in pajamas and guys they brought their A game. I, I was in shock with how amazing some of these people looked like there was some killer looks. If you guys are new to makeup on the red carpet, I always recreate a look that one of the celebrities wore that night. So I do have one of my favorite looks of the night done on my face. If you guys know whose look I already have, put it in the comments right now. I wanna see how many of you guys are right. What I do in this series is I tell you guys the exact products that celebrities are using, what their makeup artists used on them for the Emmys, and then of course I talk about the fashion. I talk about their dresses. So what we're gonna do in this one is we're talking about the five top looks of the night. And then at the end of the video, I will tell you guys who I think was the best makeup and who I think had the best dress. So we've got five celebrities to go over. I know every single makeup product that they used and I'm picking out the best ones to show you. So if you guys are excited, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and let's get right into Makeup on the Red Carpet, the Emmys 2020. celebrities brought their a-game with the dresses there was one pajama outfit that I will be sharing with you guys in this video but every single other one was like so beautiful so and let me tell you the makeup I think was it last year last year a lot of the makeup was like boring me this year I think they did some really pretty looks so I'm super excited honestly what I'm wearing right now is my favorite look but we're gonna get to that one in a few minutes. So let's start off with the first celebrity. So the first one that I have to share with you guys is Reese Witherspoon. I thought she looked so beautiful. She had the most amazing lip color and her dress was just so pretty and elegant. And she has one of those trends that is very similar to, do you remember that dress I shared with you guys? This one right here, I'm gonna link it down below. It had the two bows on each one of the shoulders. I love dresses like this. And her dress had that same exact look. It was more form fitted than the one that I bought, but I I love her dress. It was a black color. I thought that this was the perfect dress. Of course, they're not exactly at the award show, so it wasn't extremely dressed up, but it was still super elegant, which I can totally appreciate. Her dress was actually by Louis Vuitton. Like, she looks stunning. So for her makeup, her makeup artist was Kelsey Dehain. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I will put all of their Instagram handles down below. So if you guys wanna check out any of the makeup artists' Instagrams, I'm gonna put them down below. So her makeup was so beautiful. What I love about it is they didn't like go all crazy with the face. You can tell that it was a very natural face look. She was using Pat McGrath for almost every product. Actually, I think her whole entire face was Pat McGrath. So some of the key things that I think really stand out here is First, her foundation, which is the Sublime Perfection Foundation, which you guys know is a very beautiful, soft foundation. She is wearing it in shade eight. So you guys are actually gonna be super thrilled with this one because if you guys just saw my Make Up Your Mind from yesterday, the palette that she was using on her eyes was the Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette. So if you guys don't know, in that palette, there is some really pretty metallic washes of color that are not super colorful. So they did use one of those on her lids and I think it was so gorgeous. The color that they used is Nebula and it's all over the lid and underneath the bottom lash line. So let's talk about that lip because 
if you guys don't know this, red and this orange red color is all over the place. So it just made sense that somebody would be sporting this. And she actually has the Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick in Elson 2. And for the liner, she's using Pat McGrath Per Miguel Ultra Lip Pencil in Major. Everything is linked down below by Celebrity if you guys are interested in any of these looks and I love everything about this. I love the simple, beautiful eye look. I love the way her skin looks. I love that lipstick. I literally think that for a very natural yet elegant look, Reese Witherspoon looked amazing. So I wanted to share with you guys somebody who really went all out there and wore a pajama because I think it was just, I don't know, for me, I was thinking I was going to see a lot of people in pajamas. I just thought that that's the route that they were going to take, but people really dressed up. How do you say her name? Hold on. Rachel Brosnahan. This is Rachel Brosnahan. Now she has pajamas on. So these are custom pajamas created for her from Christy Reeling Altier. And I think that she looks really cute. I mean, I just thought that we were going to see a lot of this and she actually did it. And I think that it was great. Now she didn't go all subtle with the makeup. She actually got her makeup done and she did a really, really pretty makeup look, which I'm going to share with you guys. I love the fact that a lot of the celebrities we're really focusing on eyeliners. If you can see this throughout the entire award show, you're gonna see a lot of really pronounced eyeliner. And she is one of the people who did do this. Now, I do like her pajama. I think it's a really cute idea. Would it, if I was an award show, maybe I wouldn't have done this, but I do think it was actually pretty cute, especially since a lot of people were probably watching in their pajamas to kind of like mimic the same thing from your house. I think it was very cute. So let's talk about the makeup. Her makeup was from Lisa Heron, and for her makeup, she's using all of Tom Ford. For her foundations, she's using the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation, which you guys can tell what a gorgeous skin she has. Like you can tell that this foundation just so, so well on her skin. She looks absolutely stunning. And for that eyeliner, because one of the main things of her look is this really sharp eyeliner. You can tell everything else is very subtle, but then you have this eyeliner. Her eyeliner is the Eye Coal Intense in Midnight and White Smoke. I think it looked really pretty. I can see like kind of this metallic-y shift on that eyeliner. The eyeliner is very straight. Everything else is very subtle. So even her lipstick, everything else is very subtle. She has a very natural face of makeup. If you guys can tell, kind of a little trend going here. The makeup and the foundation doesn't look heavy on the first two celebrities, but there is a pronunciation on the eyes. And when I talked about my mask video, I kind of, kind of implied that that's what I felt like a lot of people were going to start doing because a lot of focus right now is the eyes. So I think a lot of these celebrities really had really good focus on their eyelids and I loved her look. I think she looked insanely gorgeous. But guys, we need to talk about somebody who I think looked insane. This was like, I think that this was just that look. Like it was just so cool. It's the one I had to recreate. So this is Zendaya. I mean, Zendaya killed it. She not only wore one dress that was insane, she wore one from Christopher John Rogers, which was like gorgeous. I mean, like she just like recreated the color purple. Like it just was like, all of a sudden purple just looked like an amazing color to me. Like it just, I loved the, I love the cut of this dress. I love the voluminous. It was so high fashion, it's so gorgeous. But, and then she changed into another dress that I almost went like, what? She changed into a Giorgio Armani dress that was had these polka dots on it. It was literally the coolest dress. It was young, it was fashionable. This would have looked amazing on a red carpet. Like this was just a dress. And I love that this dress got so much publicity and there was images of it and they took actually nice photographs, probably at her house with like a bat with a screen backdrop and everything and the dress looks so insane. And her makeup was insane. I had to recreate it because I just love this makeup look. It was was so dramatic, a huge emphasis on the eyes. Now I didn't have the palette that they actually used on her. So I ended up using Tasha Denona's Glam Palette. And if you guys want to know how I came up with this eye look, I'm going to have it up on Instagram at Christina Brooke Beauty. So if you guys want to follow along and recreate something like this, I will have it up. But I'm so happy that I was able to find out the exact products that she had on her face. I was waiting. I was waiting so desperately for this post and I finally got it. She was actually using all lamb comb for this look and her foundation was the tint idol ultra wear in the color bisque 
Her eyeliner was the black vinyl eyeliner from Lancome. So for her eyeshadow, she was actually using the dual finish highlighter in the color Shimmering Buff. For the corners, she was using Dazzling Bronze. And for her crease, she was using Hypnose and Smoky Chic. So those are all the products. Oh my goodness, does she look insane. And then for the lips, we gotta talk about the lips. She was using the Juicy Tubes in Simmer. The whole look was 100% on point. I don't think that I would have changed anything from the way that her hair was. The dresses were amazing. The dresses were amazing because there was two insanely beautiful ones. The makeup was great. I love it when somebody just gets it perfect. And I, this was, this was perfect. Okay, so now let's switch gear to somebody who did something very different from the last person. Let's talk about Julia Garner. I love her in Ozark. Like, honestly, guys, she's so amazing in Ozark. And it's so funny to see somebody dressed up when they play a character that's always so, like, dressed down and not not caring about fashion. I love this. I love this little pantsuit she had on. I think it was like kind of perfect for the occasion because it was kind of like broadcasted from home. It kind of reminded me a little bit of like a PJ look, but it was still dressed up. So the entire outfit was inspired by 1920s and it was by Chanel. Uh, yes, it looked a little costumey, maybe a little bit really 1920s, but I love the 1920s. Honestly, I wish that that fashion would just come back super strong. I liked her outfit. I think it was cute. Maybe I would have put a little bit less 1920s stuff, like either not the head thing or not the pearls, but it was cute. So let's talk about her makeup because honestly, she looks so flawless. I mean, I know the girl's gorgeous and she has like absolutely no imperfections on her face. At least she doesn't look like it, but her makeup was so pretty. It was also 1920s inspired and of course everything was Chanel. So on her face, she's actually using the Les Beiges Healthy Glow Sheer Powder in number 10. That is like the only product that they listed for coverage. So I think that she was just wearing that. So then for her eyes, she's using the Les For Ombres eyeshadow in Warm Memories, and her eyes looked gorgeous. Like I said, very natural, but very pretty. You can tell that she has something going on there, but it's not like super in your face. I think it's just a very pretty, subtle look. Everything just looked like it just kind of meshed so well on the skin. So for her lips, she's using the Rouge Allure Ink Matte, and the color that she has it in is Serenity. What a pretty look. I think it just all went so well with her really blonde hair. It's a little bit of like a washed out look, but it has a little bit of like that peachy rosiness or that warmth coming back in. I loved everything. So this was another one that I just honestly think that she did such a good job and the whole look just had a really fun element to it. It was really nice to see on camera and it photographed awesome. So another very, very beautiful look. And for the last celebrity, we have one that honestly, what just shocked me and just made me go, oh my God, is that makeup. Like the makeup of this celebrity was so insane. So this is Carrie Washington. Holy cannolis did she look gorgeous. But the dress that I loved the most was this floral dress that she was wearing from Oscar de la Renta. This dress, it was so pretty. I love the fit on her. I just think that this dress was like the perfect dress. It photographed good. It was really nice on camera. I love the brightness of it. I just thought she looked insanely gorgeous. And her makeup was like... Every time I see an image of this makeup, I'm like, wow, they did such a beautiful job. I loved it so much. She had those amazing eyeliner, like I said, a bunch of gorgeous eyeliner, a lot of winged eyeliner on the red carpet. I just think she looks so insanely gorgeous. And I found some of the products that she was wearing. There was not everything listed, but her makeup artist did share some great facts because, I mean, everybody's probably wondering, what is that lip color? Because I think that that is the key here. That is the key to this look. It tied everything together and I found it. So everything on her is Neutrogena. So that is the makeup that she is wearing and she is using the Healthy Foundation from Neutrogena and her lip color is Cherry Pink. I'm gonna have to look up the exact product. I'm gonna put it here and of course I'm gonna link it down below. But I know the color and I know what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and find it for you guys and link it and you guys will see it up. This was gorgeous. I loved it so much. I think the color matched the dress. I think it just added something. It looked very spring, but you know what? It is such a weird time right now that I am down to see some happy colors. And we all know that florals are gonna make its way into the fall anyway, so 
I'm loving this. I think it was a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dress and amazing makeup and another great look of the night. So even though guys, there was not a red carpet this year, people really still brought their A game and did some amazing looks. And I have to tell you guys that I'm gonna be telling you guys right now who I think won the best dressed and best dressed, I'm giving it to Zendaya. I just cannot get over the two dresses. I think they were both beautiful, but really that polka dot dress stole the show. And then when it comes to makeup, I'm giving it to Zendaya as well. I honestly think that she just brought it. She didn't care that it was gonna be broadcast from home. She was like, you know what? I'm going to the Emmys. I'm gonna make this my day. And she won the award. She went into this thinking, if I win this award, I wanna look amazing and I am going to like kill it. She literally took the show when it came to makeup and fashion. So I wanna know from you guys, who was your favorite of the night? What was your favorite makeup? What was your favorite dress? Leave those comments down below. And also, did you think it was an interesting Emmys being virtual? What did you guys think about that? I wanna know. So thank you guys so much for watching. And like I always say, I will see you guys on the next red carpet. Bye.